Hi everybody, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. My project today is a square box that measures three by three by one. Inside is this Hubba Bubba bubble tape, the Valentine edition one. And it fits in here very snugly. That I did because you can get two of these out of one sheet of cardstock. So when you put it in, just this ex this piece that's kind of sticking off extra, just make sure it's diagonal on any corner and it will fit in there just right. Alrighty. I used the Playing in the Rain stamp set along with the Playing in the Rain dies for the turtle. And the Country Bouquet stamp set and the Country Bouquet punch for the hearts and unfortunately this is not going to be back in stock until April 17th so it will not be back in stock for Valentine's Day unfortunately but for spring things it will be um, if you're lucky enough to get it hold on to it because it's I'm not sure if it's coming back in the the annual catalog but I know that it's hard to get right now there are a few on eBay probably but it's hard to get also I, I'm very disappointed um, I didn't even get to use yet the lucky clover stamp set and punch I'm very disappointed in this that this is sold out and they're not buying anymore at least the punches I'm not sure about the stamp set um, that I'm really disappointed in that but I'll probably still do a project or two with it because I just love it so much. Okay, what we need for this project is some basic white for the stamping. We need a half a sheet of cardstock that is eight and a half by five and a half, sweet sorbet. I'm using the Country Gingham DSP. We need two pieces that are two and three quarters by two and three quarters and four pieces that are two and three quarters by three quarters and then a little tag you can use whatever little tag you want but this one is from the stylish shape styles for the sentiment alrighty now I also use Stampin' Blends to color the little guy alright I'm gonna get my Simply Scored this is really good for classroom gifts because you don't have to put the bubble tape in but it'll fit kisses and all little things but uh it's two from each sheet so it doesn't you know wasting a whole bunch of your cardstock all righty so we're going to start on the eight and a half inch side and we're going to score at one half three and a half four and a half and seven and a half then turn it to the five and a half inch side and we're going to score at one, four, and five. Okay, now I'm going to fold and burnish. Okay, so we have the skinniest half inch rectangles on the left and on the top and there is one inch strips on the bottom bottom and the right hand side all right and this is what we're going to do so we're going to start on the left hand side we're going to go to the first score line cut it to the first score line and then wedge up into the rectangle above it go to the next score line cut it to the first score line next score line cut it to the first score line and wedge each side of the square Next score line, cut it to the first score line and wedge each side of the square. Okay, now we're gonna turn it to the other long side and we're gonna go to the left again. We're gonna go to the first score line and cut it to the second score line. Cut off this extra rectangle and wedge each side of the square. going to go to the next score line, cut it to the second score line, next score line, cut it to the second score line. We're going to get rid of this rectangle on the bottom and wedge each side of the square here. Now we're going to get rid of all four of these. There's three rectangles and a little square. So we're just going to go to that second score line next to the square we just wedged and go over to the side taking off all four of those 
Okay, and then we're just going to wedge up into the skinny rectangle there. Then we're going to round the corners of this top piece here. This is a half inch, but you can use whichever one you want. Alrighty, so this is what your cardstock should look like after you're done scoring it and cutting it. All right, we're going to put tear and tape next to the score line on what's left of this side skinny rectangle here. I'm going to use my take your pick tool to get the backing off. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to flip over the side with the glue and flip the other side over to meet it. Now this is this is the back. So I'm just going to close this for now. All right. Then we're going to put the sides down. Push in the tabs. I'm going to put a little dot of glue on each tab. Then I'm going to put the back down and then I'm going to put more glue on the back of this front flap. Okay, and then I'm going to open it back up and push down on those tabs to make sure that they are sticking. Alrighty. All right, now we need our DSP. Two pieces that are two and three quarters by two and three quarters for the front and the back, and four pieces that are two and three quarters by three quarters for all four sides. Okay, now uh, with whatever small hole punch you have, you wanna just cut a little finger grip in the back. You could do, you could put the DSP on before you put your uh, box together if you want to, but I don't like to do that in case I screw it up and then I wasted my DSP. <clears throat> and here's another one. They have different styles, I guess, because this one was a ladybug. This one says Happy Valentine's Day on it. And then you put it in there and it's nice. It fits so nice. Okay, now we need to do some stamping. And so I'm gonna get a piece of basic white. And first we'll do the turtle and I'm using tuxedo black. And I'm gonna put this right there. Great. Okay, and then we're gonna switch to the country bouquet and sweet sorbet ink. And we need two of the large flower, uh, actually, two of the large heart and one of the small heart. Okay. All right. So for the, this is the die right here for the turtle. And let's see. I don't know if I can. I think I did them too close. Let's see. Maybe not. All right. Let's cut the two hearts. All right. So we only need one of those and the two big ones. I'll save that one. All right. And I already used the die to cut out the turtle already. Okay, so we need light and dark old olive, light and dark mossy meadow, dark daffodil delight, light real red, and light polished pink. All right, so I'm going to start with light old olive, and I'm going to do the in the underbelly of the shell. And then I'm going to take dark old olive and I'm going to do the hands, the feet, and the head. Okay. Alright, and then I'm going to do the spots on the top 
<clears throat> on the shell with dark mossy meadow. Okay, and then the light mossy meadow for the in-between of the shell. Okay, and for the flowers, um, if you have sweet sorbet, but I, didn't, I don't have the sweet sorbet markers, I'm going to use, just to lighten it up a little bit, I'm going to put light polished pink on the petals first. And then go over them with light real red. For the middle of the flower, I use Dark Daffodil Delight. All right, pretty quick. All righty, now we need our box again. And I'm gonna place the two hearts, kind of like that, on the left-hand side. Maybe a little bit higher for that one, yeah, that's good. That's where I want them. And then I'm just going to attach them with liquid glue. Alright, and then I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of my turtle. I think I'll put a side right into the flower. I'm going to put the small heart down here next to him on the front. All right, now we need the little label for there it is for the sentiment. <clears throat> yeah, this one says I love you. I figured for this one we would put for you. And I'm going to use the sweet sorbet ink again. And I'm just going to put it down on the top with liquid glue. There we go. Alright, and for the final touch, I'm going to use some of the adhesive, opaque adhesive back gems. I'm going to use the red, the white ones. And I'm going to put a medium one up here and the small one here and the small one in the little one okay all right that's it if you have any questions my email is below along with the the link to my shop and the link to my blog that has all the measurements Alrighty, please subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.